So, have you ever found yourself in that pathetic situation where the girl who used to smile at you now treats you like you're invisible? And to make things worse, you're still all emotional, chasing after her, thinking it's a good idea to keep investing in this humiliation show, as if you're waiting for a miracle. Dude, pay attention. Nothing you do will change the fact that she doesn't care about you anymore. Let me explain exactly why you're going through this, and on top of that, how to get out of this embarrassing situation. Because seriously, you're looking bad! Let's dig a little deeper, because it seems like you still don't get how serious the situation is. When you act like the nice guy, always available, always trying to please, you're not only giving her control, you're throwing away your dignity. That's right, dignity. From the moment you do everything to avoid upsetting her, to be the nice guy who keeps coming back even when she despises you, you stop being a man with values, with limits, and become her walking fan club. And listen up. Women or any human being don't respect someone who acts like that. It's not even just about physical attraction. It's an instinct. She wants to feel like she's with someone who knows what they want, who has opinions, who sets their own terms. When you're there, offering yourself up, obeying her every whim, what do you think goes through her mind? Wow, what an amazing man, always doing everything for me. No, she's thinking, another pushover I can manipulate without any effort. And then, my friend, it's all downhill from there. Because the second you turn into her little puppy, guess who's going to step into her life? A guy who doesn't care about being a people pleaser. Someone she will actually respect. And you know what's worse? You're going to see this happen, and you'll still think the problem was you, that maybe if you had been more affectionate or dedicated, things would have worked out. No. The problem is exactly that you were too affectionate, and she saw it as weakness. And let me be clear here. Respect and attraction are two sides of the same coin. If she doesn't respect you anymore, it's over. It doesn't matter how much you think you love her or how much you think you're doing everything right. The cold, hard truth is, if you gave her all the control, if you became her puppet, you've lost. She's going to despise you. She'll keep ignoring you because now you're predictable. And spoiler, nobody, absolutely nobody, feels desire for someone predictable and submissive. So instead of sitting there crying, why doesn't she like me anymore? Stop, think, and change your attitude. I'm not telling you to turn into a jerk, but for the love of God, stop erasing yourself. Stop putting her on a pedestal like she's the last woman on earth. Because the more you kneel, the more she steps on you. Let's be real. This disdain you're suffering didn't just come out of nowhere like you want to believe. No, sir. The signs that things were falling apart were there the whole time. But you, in your emotional blindness, chose to ignore them. Because, of course, you were so in love, so trapped in the illusion that everything was fine, that you overlooked everything. But guess what? It wasn't fine at all. Disdain doesn't start overnight. She doesn't wake up one day and decide you're dead weight in her life. This happens gradually, sneakily. First come those innocent comments. You know when she says something like, I don't think you're the right guy for me, or I don't know if we have a future. You hear it, but what do you do? You laugh and think, oh, she's just venting. Those are the alarms, man! That's pure devaluation. And there you are, brushing it off, pretending they're just empty words. She's testing you. That's right. Testing how far she can push you, throwing those veiled criticisms to see if you'll react or stay in your bubble of delusion. And what do you do? You ignore it, because it's easier to pretend everything's fine than to face the truth head on. And then, over time, the veiled disdain turns into something obvious. She starts treating you like you're a nuisance, someone she can barely stand, because deep down she's lost respect. She no longer sees you as the man you once were, the one with posture, the one she admired. Now, pay attention. Those little criticisms, those seemingly harmless comments, are clear warnings. She's screaming between the lines that things aren't okay, and if you don't take action, the disdain will grow will take over the relationship, and then, my friend, it's over. You'll find yourself stuck in a relationship where you're treated like trash and wonder, where did I go wrong? Well, you went wrong back then, 
when you ignored all the signs and chose to live in your denial bubble. So stop being dumb. These signs aren't trivial. They're a clear warning that you need to change the way you're handling the relationship. Now let's touch on a point that many of you don't even realize you're doing, but it's like throwing gasoline on the fire, turning her disdain into a bargaining chip. And how do you do that? Every time she treats you badly, you rush to compensate with gifts, treats and favors. You think you're fixing the problem, right? Wrong! What you're doing is creating a completely toxic dynamic. She'll understand the message this way. The more she steps on you, the more you'll try to please her. In other words, you're encouraging her to despise you. Do you know what happens when you reward that kind of behavior? She'll start doing it on purpose, dude. She'll treat you badly on purpose to get what she wants. And there you are, all foolish, thinking you're buying peace in the relationship. But in reality, you're selling yourself out. And do you know what the worst part of this story is? Her disdain only grows. Why? Because now she sees you as a weak man, an emotional doormat with no self-respect. Every gift you give, every favor you do while she tramples on your dignity, is just more proof that you accept being the clown of the relationship. And I'll tell you, if you're in this cycle, you need to get out now. Because once this becomes a pattern, it's almost impossible to undo. She'll associate disdain with reward, and my friend, you'll become an emotional ATM, always ready to hand out treats every time she humiliates you. And if you think that's going to make the relationship last, you're fooling yourself. It's going to sink until there's nothing left. So, want to save something? Stop rewarding the lack of respect. If she treats you badly, pull back. Show that the game only happens when both play by the same rules, that is, with mutual respect. If you don't do this, you'll keep being the fool she manipulates to get what she wants. Because, let's be honest, who wants to be with someone who acts like a doormat? Come on, man, sit down, because now we're going to talk about something you clearly don't understand. The value of disinterest. Yes, disinterest, that I-don't-care attitude that makes all the difference. Do you know what happens when you're always there on standby answering messages the second she sends them, saying yes to everything like a butler? You become predictable, and do you know what's predictable? Boring. You basically strip away all the mystery, and mystery, my friend, is what keeps people interested. When you're always available, you kill the game. She already knows you're there, ready for anything, and that takes away all the fun. Then you come crying, why did she lose interest in me? Because you're too easy. And before you start saying this is manipulation, let me explain. What keeps a relationship alive is the balance between showing interest and taking a step back. It's not about disappearing, but about having your own life. When you don't give her space to miss you, to wonder, what is he doing? Guess what? She stops caring, because there's nothing to win. People want to feel like they're winning something, especially in relationships. If you're always there, chasing after her like an anxious puppy, what's left for her to win? Nothing. And her interest goes down the drain. Then you sit there, all desperate, trying to do more and more to please her. But what you should be doing is less. Yes, less. Give her space to miss you. To start thinking about you instead of just assuming you're always at her fingertips. And no, this doesn't mean you should completely ignore the woman and turn into a jerk. It's about balance. Show that you have your own life, that you don't live exclusively to cater to her whims. Go take care of your life, your interests, and let her see that you're a guy with more to offer, not just the doormat she steps on when she wants. This will make her see you as someone interesting and desirable, someone she has to win over. Because if you keep being predictable and always available, you can be sure you're just going to be another boring guy on her list. Now, let's get straight to the point. One of the biggest mistakes you can make as a man is losing your own life purpose because of a woman. And don't come at me with the excuse that it's because I love her. That's nonsense. When you start living just to please, to satisfy her whims, you stop being a man with ambition and turn into a doormat without vision. Which, obviously, leads to disdain. And it happens fast. Let me explain why this happens. A woman wants to be with a man who has a mission, a direction, something bigger than himself. 
She wants to see that you're building something, that you have goals, that you're in motion. But what do you do? You throw all that away and start revolving around her, like she's the center of the universe. Dude, she doesn't want to be your son. She wants to follow someone who has a vision for the future, not a guy who lost his identity and masculinity to live in the shadows of her desires. When you abandon your dreams, your ambitions, you become predictable and worthless. And if you think you're being romantic by living to please her, guess what? The only romance that's going to happen is her falling for the next guy who has a clear purpose in life while you sit crying on the couch. Because if you're not chasing anything in your life besides pleasing her, you're already dead to her emotionally. You've become dead weight. And I'm not saying you have to be a workaholic who ignores the woman, who only thinks about work and projects. I'm saying you need balance. A man without goals, without purpose, is a weak man. And what happens to weakness? It's despised, plain and simple. A woman wants to feel proud of the man beside her. Someone who inspires, who leads, who goes after what he wants. Not an emotional servant who's constantly asking, how can I please her more today? So, if you're stuck in this pathetic cycle of living to please and have forgotten who you were before, wake up. Rediscover your goals, your objectives, and show that you have something bigger than the childish desire to keep a woman satisfied. Respect and attraction will come naturally when you go back to being the man who chases his own dreams and not the servant of someone else's whims. Seriously, get up and go do something useful with your life. Now let's talk about something you need to hear, but probably don't want to admit. The real reason you're being despised is that you've lost yourself as a man. End of story. You think the problem is her? The way she treats you? The harsh words she says? No, bro, the problem is you. Because you stopped being who you were to become an emotional puppet. And she feels that. Do you know what's worse? She despises you because you despise yourself. And that's exactly what I want you to understand right now. Look at your life. Where's that guy who had courage? Who had principles? Who knew what he wanted? He's gone, right? Because now your entire existence revolves around getting the approval of one woman. You threw away your dignity, your masculinity, and most importantly, your honor. All in the desperate attempt to be the perfect man for her. But guess what? Nobody wants that perfect guy. That guy who never contradicts, who never sets his limits. That's not perfection, that's weakness. And weakness in life and relationships is something that simply doesn't deserve respect. You're sitting there, wondering why she treats you with disdain, why she seems not to care anymore. The answer is simple, and I'm going to rub it in your face. You've become the kind of man even you wouldn't respect. And if you don't respect yourself, why the hell should she? You're begging for the bare minimum of attention, crawling for scraps of affection, and want her to look at you with admiration. It's not going to happen. Do you know why? Because you're no longer worthy of admiration. What are you waiting for, man? For a miracle? For her to magically start valuing you again while you stay there, lost, purposeless, spineless. That's not going to happen. And here's the punch. No one will respect you until you start respecting yourself. Until you stop acting like a puppet that does whatever she wants, whenever she wants. Until you reclaim that man who knows what he wants, who's not afraid to lose because he understands his own value. So, I'm going to tell you what you need to do and don't even try to ignore it. Wake up. Enough of this nonsense. Stop living to please. Stop begging for love. Stop being a spectator in your own life. Be the protagonist again. If she doesn't respect you, the problem isn't just her, it's you too. Reclaim your masculinity, regain your pride, and get up from this ridiculous fall. Because if you don't, I guarantee you, it won't just be her who despises you. You'll keep sinking until you become irrelevant, not just in her life, but in your own. Did you get the message? Because if this wasn't enough to wake you up then, my friend, you're more lost than I thought. Now it's up to you. End of story.